Overly cold temperatures have given ice time to grow on local waterways, and people are taking advantage, heading out for ice fishing and snowmobiling. But the U.S. Coast Guard is reminding people that no ice is 100% safe. Usually where there are places like uh, that currents are observed, for example, rivers, that can actually erode the ice from the underside up. They say if you head onto a frozen waterway, share your plans with someone you know, just in case. Some of the people heading onto the ice depend on a local man to provide a bird's eye view of conditions. TV5's Trevor Sahaki introduces us to a pilot who gives people the lowdown from high up. The most important part of ice fishing, knowing the conditions. That's why Martin Shaliga, aka the Airborne Angler, takes to the skies. You know, it's 1,100 square miles of the Saginaw Bay that people fish usually. And um, there is a satellite that provides us a visual, um, but it's limited by cloud cover. So it's, it can be a very long time between pictures and um, ice fishermen are not very patient. When the Linwood resident got back from the Marine Corps with his pilot's license, he decided to help out. So uh, I said, well, I can go up and take a look in some pictures. And I posted them on my personal page. It got really popular. So I thought I would start a separate page just to direct people to that as they don't want to see pictures of my normal life, I'm sure. Schliga's Facebook page, The Airborne Angler, has nearly 16,000 followers. He works a day job as a technician, so he has to find personal time to keep fishermen informed. I have a couple cameras and, um, you know, when I'm flying, I try to take pictures of the most popular public launches where most guys will be launching from to give them kind of a bird's eye view of what to expect. He posts videos at least once a week when the ice is forming or melting, the trickiest times to fish. A lot of times, um, just like happened this year, by the time I landed the plane on the two hour flight, it had already broken apart in pieces. So it was, it was already old information. So, you know, that's, that's scary when it when it's happening that fast. Schliga's favorite launch site, the west side of the bay. But he says everyone's been doing well this winter. Trevor Sahaki, WNEM, TV5. And to view the Airborne Anglers reports, go to the hotlink section on the TV5 homepage.